What's up everybody? My name is Gabe Deem and this is the Reboot Nation. I want to make a quick video on the basics of addiction. And an easy way to think about addiction is continued use despite negative consequences. Or to say it another way, when you want to stop doing something you know is bad for you but you find it difficult or impossible to quit. Now in 2011, a group of addiction experts actually changed the definition of addiction and updated it to include behavioral addictions like eating junk food and sexual behaviors like watching porn. Porn? What's, oh, pornography? Now they did this because they were aware of the latest addiction neuroscience that was showing all addictions, regardless of what the addiction is to, share some of the same fundamental brain changes, whether it's to a substance or a behavior. Now these brain changes take place deep in our brain in what is called the reward circuit. You can think of this circuit like an uh, engine in a car and the purpose of this engine is to drive us towards things that are pleasurable and good for survival and to get us to avoid things and stay away from things that are painful or could cause death. Now at the top of this engine's reward list, what we naturally desire are things like food, bonding and forming friendships, and of course, sex. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Now there's another big thing at the top of our brain's reward list, and that is novelty, which means anything new, which is why you find the internet so enticing. There's always social media to click through and notifications coming in, unlimited amounts of YouTube videos you can click on until you end up watching a stupid cat video, and it's why you get excited when you get a new skin in a video game or they change the map or release new guns. There's always something that video game designers and social media creators are creating to keep you coming back to their product. They understand how the brain works and how to get you hooked. Now there's a steering wheel or thinking part of the brain and this is located in the prefrontal cortex behind the forehead and this is where you plan, you strategize, you weigh the pros and cons of whether to do something or avoid something. And this part of the brain doesn't fully develop until you're in your mid-twenties. Which is why we don't pass out driver's license to kids. Like a child that makes terrible choices, an addict's brain gets impaired and finds it more difficult to steer towards the healthiest option. This is called hypofrontality. Hypo means functioning less than normal and frontality refers to the frontal lobes. But there's also three more brain changes. Number one is sensitization. And this is like a super memory of pleasure. As you do something, your brain wires up to it and eventually you have a small pathway that turns into a neurological highway with tons and tons of neurons communicating and urging you to go back and repeat the behavior or consume the substance that you now think is good for your survival. And then there's desensitization and this is where you get numbed. Think of a gunshot going off in your ear and it becomes difficult to hear as well for a period of time and you cover your ears. With too much stimulation in the brain's reward circuit, your brain reduces the ability to feel pleasure and the only thing that's enticing to your brain is now the highway that you've created to whatever it is you're addicted to. Lastly, there's altered stress response. This is where your brain goes into fight or flight mode and you're going through a stressful situation and stress hormones actually activate and trigger that super memory of pleasure. You're not thinking clearly and your brain turns to the one thing it thinks is good for survival and it's blind to the fact that that addiction it turns to is the one thing that caused the problems in the first place and the addiction cycle repeats itself. So addiction is wiring your brain to something, numbing your brain to everything else, your decision making process is impaired, and stress makes you crave whatever it is that you're addicted to, and the cycle repeats itself. Now I know that was a lot of big words, but do you understand it yet? Come on. Huh? I'm gonna have to teach you a little ditty so you don't forget. Okay, all right, here we go. <coughs> Sensitization wires your brain, desensitization numbs the brain, hyperfrontality you can't think straight and when you're stressed the addiction's what you crave. Don't hate, you know that was a banger.
All right, y'all, that's the basics of addiction. If you wanna know more information on behavioral addictions and the science behind specifically porn addiction, check out yourbrainonporn.com. There are now over 40 neuroscience-based studies that actually support the porn addiction model. And if you want help recovering from it, check out my site, rebootnation.org. It's a website dedicated for people um, going through porn addiction or a porn-induced sexual dysfunction. So that's it, much love, bye.